Hey everybody, how's it going? A very special episode this week. We have our great friends from Sorted Food. Introduce yourself, gents. I am Barry. Ben. And Jamie. Boom! Three excellent gentlemen to help us cook some excellent food. Yes, and you're going to be really excited about this week's feast, which is featured in the Chronicles of Narnia. Mm. This is a British delight mm. from Turkey. It's Turkish delight. <laughs> <laughs> So, a very, very simple recipe. Very few ingredients, some sugar, some rose water, which is like classic flavour that everyone associates with Turkish Delight. Mm -hmm. uh, some food colouring, we'll make it nice and pink. And then we're going to set it with gelatin, but very, very simple. All we need is some water, and the same in weight of caster sugar. So, lots and lots of sugar. Then we need to set it with some gelatin. Mm -hmm. So, we've got a couple of sachets there. What you'd normally put in, depending on which gelatin you get, there's always instructions on the back. Mm -hmm. And it'll tell you how much to use per pint or millilitres of liquid put twice as much in as you think you need. Because it's a really kind of sticky gel. Oh, no, don't do that. <laughs> well, you can't. I wouldn't, I wouldn't no. recommend eating that. That's just going to sit on your tongue. <laughs> that was a terrible idea! <laughs> so, two of those in there. That's going into cold liquid, and then it'll dissolve as we heat it up. Mm -hmm. We don't need a mix. the rainbow whisk. Oh, oh rainbow oh. whisk. I've, yeah, we've seen your rainbow whisk. Now's a good time to use it. <laughs> Look at that. Rainbow whisk. So now this has come from uh, Turkey. It was an Englishman who brought it back uh, to Britain many, many years ago, not really knowing what he was doing or what it was. And he brought it back from Istanbul, didn't know what it was called, so called it a Turkish delight. And it's, it's had that, it's had yeah, that yeah. name ever since. Yeah. It's kind of stuck. Okay, so if you can put um, about a tablespoon of that in there. Smell it, I mean, it's very, very floral. It's very fragrant. Mm. It's it's like 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 it's like your bath. It's yeah. like your shampoo. Yeah. I'll put this much in here. Can we make our own rose water by putting roses in our bath? Try that. It's quite concentrated. Oh, oh. 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 This is quite nice. It's really? not too strong. And if you can't get hold of rose water, you can use like orange blossom water. Oh, it's cool. cool. Or just lemon and things like that. That's nice. Refreshing, isn't it? Very refreshing. Very fragrant. Very fragrant. Quite feminine, actually. <laughs> quite. <laughs> Turkish Delight always has kind of magical kind of colours as well, so you can make it very orange, very pink. We're going to go for pink because mm -hmm. pink is good. Mm -hmm. So if you put a couple of drops of that in there as well. Sure. Right, so that's it. All mixed together. It's as simple as that. That needs to go onto our stove and heat up to boil mm -hmm. to dissolve the sugar, melt the gelatin, and once it's boiling, then we can bring it back. So there we go. At that point, you can see it's bubbled up. It smells good. Really it smells sticky. Good. Bed of roses. Really, yeah, mm. bed of roses. Exactly mm. that. Floral, fragrant. And at that point, all we need to do is set it. So okay. it's such a simple recipe any kind of tin or bowl or dish that you've got, line it with some cling film or glad wrap? Saran wrap. Would you call it? Glad wrap? What's this called? That sounds like something that's, you do somewhere that's, else. That's not wrong. <laughs> get, 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 the tube, get the tube, get the tube, get the tube. Take it out of our happy paper and put it into the glad wrap. It's called glad wrap. There we go, I'm not, I'm not making this stuff up. <laughs> glad wrap, happy wrap. And that's just gonna go in there, simple as that. At this point, you can scrape off any of the bubbles if you want, but to be honest with you, there's not too many there. And that then needs to go into our fridge to set. So you can leave it at room temperature Ooh. while it's still very hot, and then put it into the fridge, leave it a couple of hours, and then we can start cutting up our Turkish delight. So, the sharper the knife, the better, and the bigger the knife, the better. Well, we've got to get our biggest knife out. Dang it! You lose. We, the America <laughs> has lost. You would think America would win this. Everything's bigger in America. There we go. Wow. Our chilled Turkish delight. Really bouncy and wobbly. And what we need to do is turn it out. Peel off the glad wrap. Peel off the glad wrap <laughs> onto a plate or a board. And if you want to just peel off that, Ashley. Can you make this in a slightly more manly colour? <laughs> <laughs> now you can eat it just like that, but it is so sticky that you can barely pick it up. Yeah. So we kind of need to coat it in something. And that is a mixture of icing sugar, or powdered sugar, powdered you guys sugar, call it. Yeah. Powdered or sugar. sugar. Confectioner sugar. Confectioner sugar, yeah, the really light, dusty, powdery one. And corn flour, mm -hmm. or corn starch, oh. you guys call it, and that just stops it all sticking together. So if you can just get your finger in there and give that a bit of a <laughs> swill. Taste that. No, don't taste that. <laughs> now, I reckon if we cut some nice squares out of this, take our Turkish delight, roll it in our flour and cast the sugar, drop it to get rid of any excess, and that. It's your Turkish delight. Wow, Good to go, okay? Pretty. And now it's easy to pick up and really easy to eat. Now you don't need to keep them in the fridge at this point. Once they're coated, they'll stop from, and in fact this one, you can see sometimes you need to go back in, make sure you've got a good layer. So double dip then. Double dip, there's no problem with double dipping. Obviously these aren't vegetarian because we use gelatin, mm -hmm. but you can get veggie gel, so you can make your own vegetarian ones as well. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's snowing. <laughs> there's no one here, right there. <laughs> Such an idiot. What? You're actually an idiot. Stop just setting the scene. <laughs> just setting the 
seen, all right? The snow of Narnia. There we go. <laughs> Presenting Turkish Delights. And that is it. Turkish Delights, delicious. <laughs> Many thanks to our boys here at Sorted Food. You can check them out at youtube.com slash sortedfood or at sortedfood.com. They post two videos a week and just click anywhere in this general vicinity <laughs> to check their channel out. <laughs> <laughs> we'll actually track which face you click on and we will announce a winner next week. Uh, cheers, yes. Cheers. Cheers, cheers, cheers boys. Tenonia. Mm. Aww. Mm. Kids, if someone, if a stranger offers you candy or delectable <laughs> treats, <laughs> anything this pink and wobbly, do not don't go near it. We can't say that. We'll see you guys next week, <laughs> or maybe two weeks from now. We'll see what happens. <laughs>